Welcome to Compass and Clock. Over age 50, single and ready to mingle? Let's talk about it. There may be several reasons that you're considering or already swimming in the dating pool. There is divorce or death of your spouse slash life partner, or you've never married or never been in a committed relationship. I acknowledge polyamory as well, but don't have the space here to address every iteration of romance. Instead, I'll focus on what singles have in common, no matter your situation. If you're over 50 and back on the market after many years, dating looks different now than it did 30 or more years ago. Not only is dating different, but you are also different. Those two things alone can make the prospect of dating both daunting and exciting. While that's not much different than when you were younger, now you have the advantage of life experience, rich emotional depth, and improved critical thinking. At least that's my hope for you. Armed with that wealth, I'd suggest that to date successfully, you must determine what exactly it is that you want. From casual sex to a committed relationship, you owe it to yourself to consider what qualities you want in a partner and which behaviors are red flags. Stick to your must-haves and your deal breakers. One of the luxuries of dating after 50 is that there is less societal pressure to couple up. You're mature enough to recognize that any pressure is simply someone else's projection of their fears and desires onto you. Their problem, not yours. You've reached the age of knowing what's best for you. That includes when and with whom you have sex. Conducting all communication with clarity, tact, and kindness is, ne is never out of style. Tolerate no less in return. Before all that, how do you even begin to date after 50? There are certainly dating apps, but if technology doesn't appeal to you, the old fashioned ways still work. Sign up for groups that match your hobbies and interests. Attend local events. Tell friends and family you're interested in dating again. They know you best and are likely to recognize a good match for you. I realize the, pardon me, I realize these few paragraphs don't delve into the complexities of our need for companionship and human touch, the emotional and financial stakes after a long relationship, no matter how it ended or being newly single and in poor health. In this edition, Compass and Clock can read Dating Over 50 by Gary Flooring. If you don't want to date, I see you. I want to help you fully enjoy your life, whatever that entails. As always, you'll find guidance in this issue on healthcare, housing choices, legal guidance, financial planning, leisure pursuits, and family support. Visit our website at www.compassandclock.com to choose how you receive the future planning information we offer. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, podcast, and newsletter, or sign up for home delivery.